What do you really know about cannabis? Well, yes, that too. But did you know that cannabis has been used as a medicinal plant since the dawn of human history? That the medicinal use of cannabis gradually waned as opiates became more widespread? Closer to our own times, Raphael Meshulam isolated and synthesized one of the main active components of the plant, the cannabinoid THC, followed shortly afterwards by CBD. He discovered that this organic compound has the incredible ability of connecting molecularly with certain receptors housed in many of the cells in our body. This cannabinoid has sometimes been dubbed the key to a molecular padlock. By connecting the CB1 and CB2 receptors, cannabinoids act as chemical messengers. Meshulam and his team wondered why there was a specific receptor in our bodies for this type of molecule. In 1992, a cannabinoid was finally located that is secreted naturally by our body. It was called anandamide. Subsequently, another similar molecule was discovered, also in our organism, which was called 2-AG. And it was discovered, too, that anandamide forms part of a wider system of intercellular communication in our bodies. This previously unknown system is known as the endocannabinoid system, and it is closely associated to our body's self-regulating processes, such as control of temperature and pH. It is involved in many different aspects, including motor coordination, neuroprotection, pain control, or appetite, among others. The endocannabinoid system helps maintain the complex balance between the different biological functions, a process known as homeostasis. THC and CBD are two of over 100 cannabinoids produced by the plant. The discovery of cannabinoids has opened up a new field in the research of the processes that regulate our organism. We know that some cannabinoids have therapeutic applications which make them very useful in the treatment of pain, cancer, or HIV. Cannabis has been part of human life for thousands of years and has tremendous properties beyond its mere recreational use. Its key role for our understanding of the endocannabinoid system and its special relationship with the chemistry of our body makes it unique, and there is still much to be discovered.